comparing two controllers. Um, these are two solar controllers, one and two. Both of these systems are set up the same. It has a battery cutoff switch to allow the unit to be stored with the battery disconnected uh, for safety and for reasons of keeping the battery alive longer so it doesn't discharge in storage as much. Um, okay, so here you can see we have it plugged into a solar cell, a solar panel. Uh, sunlight's on. Battery light is hard to see, but it's uh, slow, steady, flashing green. And then a load light. So this is basically the input, the battery, and the output. And this one is, you know, shows that the solar panel is connected. It's green. Shows the battery's charged. Uh, I can turn the load light on and off. This indicates that the load is, uh, is available. It's hot. Uh, for example, if it's plugged into the uh, uh, solar panel and I disconnect the battery, it uh, it objects a little bit. The battery flash is red, which of course it should. There's no battery there, so the battery is uh, discharged in its mind. But the sun is uh, the sunlight. The solar panel is still normal. Battery flashing green, and of course the load goes out because uh, there's no uh, electricity available. And there shouldn't be. That's the way it should be. Turn it back on. Again, normal conditions. Unplug the solar panel. Uh, battery still shows green, which it should. Battery still fully charged. No sunlight, which is normal. There's no sun available. And the load is available on and off. So, this is normal. Um, let's go over here to the second one turn the battery on. Uh, this battery is fully charged and right away you can see a problem. The, it's both red and green, full red and green on on the battery indicator. So um, yeah, this should, again should be the solar battery and, and load the output. But right away you see the problem. There's a battery is showing red, which uh, should not. Uh, let me plug in the solar panel. Aha! Now we see a, a flashing green on the solar panel, which uh, this doesn't seem right. I mean, down here it says it's over voltage, but it's not. I can measure it. The voltage is normal. Um, I think this is trying to tell me the battery's full, which doesn't make any sense to put this indicator on the on the solar panel. Uh, the middle one green. The battery is green. Uh, this one never flashes, even though the indicator down here says that when the battery's full, it should flash. Uh, and then the output, the load. So we can turn on the output. You can see the output light is on. Okay, now we should be able to disconnect the solar panel, right? We have a charged battery, disconnect the solar panel. Uh, and there's another issue. Battery goes red. Uh, clearly battery is fully charged. Why is it now telling me that the battery is dead? Uh, should not be. The, the input of the solar panel should have nothing to do with the power of the battery and then the uh, output the load is still normal. Okay, so let's hook this back up, get our green indicators, turn off the battery, and yeah, now we get a flashing green on the battery, which makes no sense because the battery is now disconnected. You saw it flash red there for a minute, um, but yeah, that flashed red again. So it's uh, it's in a confused state. Uh, I have had it go into a state where it uh, is going into over voltage and this light, oh, sorry, this light is flashing green and what happens is I can measure the voltage coming out and it's just the raw power coming from here to here. It's unregulated. So that's a very serious issue. Uh, so yeah, this one is not operating like I would think it would. Here, if I unplug this and the battery is off, then it goes out. So we've covered all the different states it can be in. But here again, this is pure battery, and it should not show a, a dead battery just because the solar panel is unplugged. Show that again.
Yeah. Okay.